very much. Um, Clyde and the team for putting this uh, event together. Um, Honorable Ambassador, uh, the Governor, and the Security uh, Team of Busia District and uh, the entire business community. Uh, good evening. I am Eno Kamuranga and um, I have known Clyde for a very short time. But for me, anything that involves supporting young people uh, to push our Uganda ahead and Africa is a thing for me. I am all, before, before anything else, I am a Pan-Africanist at heart. And uh, even Musei um, has been telling us, reminding us, that Pan-Africanism is what will take Africa forward. So, that is number one. Secondly, this is the best thing that has happened in Busia. There are very many things that have happened in Busia. This is one of the best. The people of Busia, if you ignore what Jitorezi is doing in Busia, then it means that as human beings, we are really very, we struggle with that just thing to change. That is normal for human beings. We struggle with adjusting to change. Number one, because we don't know what the change that is coming will bring. We are uncertain. Secondly, we are always comfortable with the status quo. We want the status quo. The mere fact that we are here, there is the banking sector, there is the, the transport, there is um, these small, medium-sized enterprises, and you are getting to know each other. That alone can drive Busia, can ignite collaboration on another level and boost the economic growth of this area. Actually, I feel like we should even live here when we have cut out sponsors for this event moving forward. For us, we are already on board. We are willing to support Clyde and his team in any way we can. So, I founded an organization called Lead Minds Africa. And um, the main mission of the organization is to really empower the next generation of leaders. The next generation of leaders. It is important to have what we call proximal leaders. Leaders who know the community and live in those communities. It's very key. The most important transformative change that we can have in Uganda should start at the grassroots and go up. It is what changes our societies long term. Are we together? Uganda is the youngest, one of the youngest countries. One of the youngest countries with 80% of the population under the age of 30. We have almost 1.1 million uh, businesses registered. Our, uh, our gross domestic product is 42 billion US dollars. But we have a population, I mean it is around 45.56 US billion dollars. Uh, it, has, it has grown from, uh, from 2022 to 2023. Tremendous growth. And that has been ushered by the stability and the peace. Are we together? But to sustainably really have this growth as well of our country, we have
have to start with projects like this that bring people together, empower young people, and spark innovation. Are we clear? Uh, I have uh, I had prepared, uh, you know, lots of things, uh, lots of statistical figures, uh, but you know we are out of time. Uh, we need to drive back to Kampala. Um, but um, Clyde had tasked me to touch on the importance of, uh, you know, businesses. I have said that we have almost 1.1 million uh, registered businesses. And most of uh, the medium, the micro, small, medium enterprises account for 80% of our country's GDP. So you should clap for yourself, actually. I have had banks, I have had uh, small businesses, you know, around here in Russia connected. So you are contributing to 80% of the, our country's GDP. That is very significant. Um, and 90% of this, of course, is private sector. Uh, Uganda, Uganda continues to rank among the most entrepreneurial countries in the world. And uh, 1.8 million informal businesses. Um, we have almost 1.8 million informal businesses. Is that, that significant? Uh, you, you, sometimes you hear that um, people say, you know, the NRM government has not done anything. So, one, the, the 1.8 million informal businesses are actually run by women, youth and refugees. Um, and uh, between 600,000 and 700,000 youth enter the job market annually. But, um, but 2% of micro, small, medium enterprises are owned by young people between 18 and 24. 2%. Is that significant? Is that that significant? How many of the young people between 18 and 24 owned businesses in in a period like the 1990s or 1986. <laughs> um, so, these businesses, businesses are spread um, in different sectors. And most of the, the most important, um, the highest is in the agriculture sector, 14% followed by education and health sector, which is 13%, and recreation and personnel, which is uh, 10%. Um, majority of these enterprises are aged between 1 and 10 years old. So it goes back to the other point I started with. We are the most enterprising country in the world, but sometimes we have the highest rate of failure for businesses. Um, but the entrepreneurial nature of Uganda is highly visible. Nine out of ten owners started up using their own funds. If you have started a business to contribute to the development of Uganda using your own capital, clap for yourself. We appreciate you. Um, and nearly three quarters operate as sole proprietorships. Um, and these businesses are run and typically managed by owners. Under a third, which is 31%, have a manager who is in charge of operations. So we have very many, very many small businesses. And some, sometimes you find that they are run by relatives because we don't, they don't have a lot of money to employ a huge number. Um, I will really not go into this, this whole presentation. Uh, some of the serious constraints to business growth in Uganda is financial access. 
Yesterday I was uh, speaking to the manager of, uh, of Equity Bank. We, we were attending the Davusi Tembekayo's masterclass yesterday at Koro Airstream. And there is a way Equity Bank is, uh, is moving very fast to support small businesses. I was ex I was uh, happy about the strategy the new manager is bringing. But also, Stanley Big, I have backed with the Stanley Big. Uh, they have an amazing product for NGOs, which I like so much. So, it is very significant that small, micro, small, medium enterprises access finance uh, in Uganda. Because all the most developed countries in the world have been transformed by entrepreneurs, by businesses. That is a fact. I've had an opportunity to travel to different countries. I will not dive into that. But all the countries we admire have been changed by people who are sitting in these seats. The ones that wake up every day, open their small shop, pay taxes, sell products. So again, we clap for yourselves. Uh, Honorable Ambassador, we are very happy. Um, I, am, I started, uh, uh, started having an idea of starting the organization that I run today at the age of 26. Uh, we are registered in Uganda and uh, the United States. Uh, in the U.S., we, we have what is called the 501c3 status, uh, which is tax exemption. So, I, I have a foundation registered there. I have worked previously, I worked for eight years in international NGOs and uh, learned the knowledge, then moved on to found my, uh, my own organization. We work in the districts of Kampanga, Ruero, Nakasongola, Mukono, and Rakai. Uh, in the next three years, we want to expand to other districts, uh, but also to countries like Kenya, uh, Tanzania, and uh, maybe Rwanda. So, I thank you very much for the opportunity. I am not going to go into this whole presentation. Uh, I can leave the presentation, even the soft copy, with Clyde. So thank you for having us. Uh, I appreciate the work we do. This is something that should not stop today. It should go on. Uh, the, most, the most successful people are people who network, are people who collaborate. The thing that I have found out of experience in Uganda is that when people start businesses or start organizations, they want what they have started to be theirs. So when you come to negotiate a partnership with them, they are like, but what is there? What is his agenda? What is her agenda? <laughs> huh? But in the businesses, we even have what is called mergers. You can merge with someone, acquire new markets, and really succeed. So, as I live, I want to encourage the business community in Busia that this is the greatest opportunity, this is the best platform. That is number one. Number two, network and network and network. The boundaries of your communities will end up becoming the boundaries of your life unless you work so hard and break them. One of the ways you have to break the boundaries of Busia and expand to other territories and shine like a star is to collaborate, to partner.